these women are like me and like you. Right. They are working folks. They are mothers. They are folks who are just trying to live their lives, make their best decisions and really think about how they want to build and create their own futures. The last thing before we go tonight, what about them? Last night, activist Monica Simpson laid out exactly who is hurt by states enacting extreme abortion bans. She was clear it could be anyone. Today, we heard from one woman who has been impacted. Amanda Zarowski. She is one of the five women suing the state of Texas over their six-week abortion ban. She was denied an abortion despite dangerous pregnancy complications she was experiencing. And she explained to her senators exactly how the law affected her at a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing earlier today. Please watch this. We've, we've heard a lot today about the mental trauma and um, the negative harmful effects on a person's psychological well-being after they have an abortion, supposedly. And I'm curious why that's not relevant for me as well, because I wasn't permitted to have an abortion. And the trauma and the PTSD and the depression that I have dealt with in the eight months since this happened to me is paralyzing. On top of that, I am still struggling to have children. And I wanted to address my senators, Cruz and Cornyn, who uh, neither of whom regrettably are in the room right now. But I would like for them to know that what happened to me, I think most people in this room would agree, was horrific. But it's a direct result of the policies that they support. I nearly died on their watch. And furthermore, as a result of what happened to me, I may have been robbed of the opportunity to have children in the future. And it's because of the policies that they support. What happened to me was horrible, but I am one of many. And quite frankly, I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I have a husband that could take me to the hospital. I don't have other children that I had to worry about finding health care for. I have a job that was understanding that allowed me to grieve for three days as I waited to almost die. What about all of the women that don't have those same opportunities, that don't have access to health care, that don't have health insurance, that don't have a partner? What about them? Amanda Zarowski's heartbreaking plea takes us off the air tonight. Please share that clip with someone you know.